Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Kate and Henry out at Hudson Crossing Park. This whole month we've talked a lot about the various ways that animals make it through winter. Do you remember what they are? There's hibernation, when animals sleep. There's brumation, where they slow down a lot and take some naps, kind of like what I do. And then there's migration, where they travel thousands and thousands of miles to get to a warmer place to spend the winter. But Henry wanted to know, what about all the animals that call Hudson Crossing Park home that don't do any of those things? What happens to them? So today we're gonna find out. Hudson Crossing Park sure looks different in the summer than it does in the winter. Suddenly all those green plants and flowers and leaves on the trees fall on the ground, turn brown, and look pretty dull in comparison. And then when the snow comes, everything is covered up by a blanket of white and the world changes again. Even the river and the canal change, slowing their currents and eventually being covered with ice. So if the park goes through this many changes in winter, what do the animals do when all of the things around them look so different? Any animal who doesn't hibernate, brumate, or migrate must adapt. This means that they change the way they act, how they stay safe, where they find food, to suit the cold weather and everything that comes with it. Some grow warmer and thicker fur to keep them warm. Others gain weight so that their fat will keep them warm in the cold weather. Some animals, like this rabbit, even change color from brown to white to better hide in the snow. Finding food can be tough. Berries that birds depend on could be covered with ice and hard to get to. Animals that depend on lakes, rivers, and waterways for their food suddenly find them frozen over and so they're forced to look for food that might not be as good for them and might be harder to find. Even something simple, like moving around, is a lot harder in the winter. If you think about how hard it is for you and I to move through deep snow, just imagine how much work it must be for a small animal like a squirrel. Deep snow for us is over the head of a squirrel and takes a lot more energy to get from one place to another. There are an awful lot of ways animals have to change how they live to make it through a long winter. They have to eat differently, they have to think differently, sometimes they even look different. So if animals change the way they behave and how they live their lives during the winter and adapt to the world around them, are there any ways that you adapt to get ready for winter? If you think about it, we change the way we look by dressing differently in the winter. We eat different things in the winter than we would in the summer. And we even play differently. So Henry, when you asked me what the animals who live at Hudson Crossing Park do during the winter, the answer is they adapt, and so do we. It's pretty cool to think about how similar we really are to our animal friends. Well, Henry, I hope I answered your question, and I hope that you had fun learning about all the different ways that animals adapt. We'll see you next week, boys and girls. Bye.